Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new subscribers. It's Montina here. And my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information that helps you thrive in life and thrive in business. And if that sounds good to you, subscribe. So in this video today, we're gonna have a candid conversation. I'm actually cooking some, prepping some oxtails to cook and put in the, I'm gonna put them in the crock pot real quick while I run over to the gym. And I wanted to have a conversation with you all. So this is a thriving life video. And we're going to talk while I get these bad boys paid in. So this is a conversation for my women and especially my young women. I'm going to start talking to y'all because these, these older 40 plus women, they don't want to listen. If you're in your 30s, I'll talk to you too. But 40 plus, I see why all those dating coaches are like, yeah, we're not, we're not dealing. Actually, they're not even dealing with women. Let me tell you something. Your parents, if they're not helping you find a husband, especially your mothers, you all are really not just the danger zone, but there's so much information out here now for men about men telling men not to deal with you. It is ridiculous. So I recently, you know, because I watch Kevin Samuels, I do watch the Manosphere videos. I started coming across more videos in this space that are literally encouraging men not to marry. See, everyone's focused on Kevin Samuels, but they're telling men the reasons why they should just go to junior colleges not even four-year universities, junior colleges, and basically screw women and screw them over, young women, and not marry you. And for some of you, because you don't understand men, you, you don't, in your 20s, honey, you don't understand no man. You don't understand men, really. I'm still learning, and I'm in my 40s, and let me tell you, I can get with the best. I understand um, how to be mysterious, alluring, inspiring, influential, but guess what? This is not a turn it on, turn it off. Like these are things you learn, how to be flirtatious and kind, how to calm a room, how to use your feminine essence, how to use your voice, your inflection, your sexiness. These are things you learn as you get older. And they're not things that you turn on and off. They are forever. In relationships, it is forever. These men are so unhappy. These folks in relationships, even if they've had 20 years, I don't even know. Most people aren't happy in long-term relationships because they forget about what's important in long-term relationships. So I was talking to a woman, young woman recently, and you know, I'm, if, if you ever come across me, <laughs> let me tell you me, even in my gym, when I talk to young women, I'm asking you, what's your dating life look like? I'm asking you because I understand what's going on out here. And so I was asking a young lady this yesterday that's working on her master's, what's your dating life look like? And she's like, well, you know, COVID, it's hard to meet people, you know, everything's online. And it really is, I, I can understand <clears throat> where it is a little difficult. But guess what? You all need to be intentional because you don't have as many options, but you want to be intentional. And I was thinking also, you know, one of the things that you want to look for with these men is, someone that you respect you know as women you know if your mom hasn't taught you if this is something you haven't read if you're not studying you might think well i need a man to respect me honey no you don't you need a man to respect you in the terms of you know not being um forward with you know sex or sexual innuendos or being disrespectful in that sense but a man that is going to love provide protect cherish produce the type of man you really want you need to respect you need to respect him. That means you need to literally look at him and, 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 and the hearts will come out because for us, it's not love for them. It's respect. That respect will in turn, turn into love. Cause you're like, oh my God, he's so good to me. He works hard. There's so much about my honey that I appreciate. I tell him, I mean, golly, this man, he cherishes me. He loves me. He produces, he provides, he protects. But guess what? Men want a fair deal. To my young women, you cannot get into a relationship and marriage and just be thinking he's supposed to do for you. And for those of you getting these men to pay your bills, finessing them, that's not right. That's another conversation. But I got time, a little bit of time today. These men want a fair deal. Men in marriage, the one coach I started finding, Coach Gray, 
go and listen to his content and i'm gonna put it in my patreon society because because i want we're gonna we're living our best lives being lives i don't or some, being wives we're living our best lives being wives being a wife isn't often hold on i want to make sure my mic is up here isn't often separate celebrated but we're celebrating it because this isn't a start and stop this isn't a oh yeah i'm gonna do it for a little bit of time and i'm these men want amazing sex. So if you haven't been with a lot of men, look, I had to read books, honey. I had to, I had to do what I had to do. I ain't gonna tell them the secrets. And I had to figure some things out because as a young woman, especially black women, you know, we told don't do certain things in the bedroom. That don't buy lollipops. <laughs> now y'all young women probably a little bit more experienced, but you don't want to be real experienced. You know, part of my innocence is that I was married twice. I do have three kids with one man. I was, I've not been with a lot of men. And for those of you that have, I mean, that's your life. But you don't want to be with a lot of men. It's not honorable for a woman to be running around here talking about how many dudes she didn't been with. That, when I was growing up, even now, we never talked about that. Because it, you, you just didn't talk. Like, it, it was never a woman could be proud to say she'd been with X number of men. Most of the time, they'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm still on one hand. Like, we never said things like that. It's not honorable. The other thing is, find a man, attract a man you respect. And, you know, you want to be attracted to him, too. But let me tell you something. You can be real attracted. I've, been, I've had him both spectrums, okay? My first husband, I was not attracted to at all. And let me tell you, I'm 23 years old. We making 120 thousand dollars a year. We were ballers. And I didn't realize it at the time. And I wasn't attracted to him. Now, I could have been over time, but I, was, I wasn't as smart as I am now. But let me tell you, a man that loves you, provides for you, protects you, produces for you, you will, oh, he cherishes you. You will appreciate and respect him and admire him. You know, he wants, he wants sex from you, honey bunny. He wants sex, good sex. He wants you to provide oral sex. You know, I don't, read these, read these, um, Especially Coach Gray. Good Lord, they tell it all. Read what men really want. Hold on, I can cut this lemon because you got to clean your oxtails. I just rinsed them all. Now I'm about to clean them. These men want, they want what they want. There's posts in there where the men tell it all. Yeah, after you get married, she ain't going to suck you off no more. They want you to be fit. We went to a friend's recently. And um, boy, they have food all the time. They can cook. And it was late. And... I mean, late, I had, you know, went to the mall and it was like after nine o'clock and they, and I got there. I didn't eat. I hadn't eaten since probably that morning. They're like, you want to eat? And I said, no, I spent too much time in the gym. I said, you didn't eat? No. We had to stop and get some gas because um, we didn't have our Tesla. And I got me some fruit from the gas station, a little fruit, apples and uh, grapes and all that and almonds. Yeah. Because guess what? I like staying fit because I like looking good for my man. The other thing, some of you all are just spending too much damn money. You're not going to come into the relationship being able to add no type of value, no good credit, no savings account. You don't have the, the financial acumen to help him in any type of way, not even just thinking. You know, we actually are um, <laughs> we're actually going to be getting another vehicle. And, you know, my honey wanted a, a certain vehicle, and I, and I just was like, I added my two cents. Hey, what do you think about this? Not pushing it on him. I don't give him unsolicited advice. What do you think about us possibly doing this? And guess what? It turned into one of the decisions. He thought about it after a while and said, you know, I thought about that. And this is what I think I want to do. Hey, honey, I think that's a great idea. So like I said, some of you all, especially my young women, um, I'm going to be directing a lot of content. But if you're around women that aren't speaking well about men and marriage and how they serve their men, listen to how they speak to their men, speak about their men. Don't be disrespectful. If your mom, I've heard some moms and they just be dogging out dads like, oh, your father, oh, he always asks me something. You don't want to do that. You want to live. You don't want to have a 20 year miserable marriage. That's what that's what's wrong with nowadays. People are so miserable. Let, me let these look for a few minutes. They are absolutely miserable in marriages. There's no honor being in no 20 year marriage and you're miserable. Ugh. You're not having sex. You're not making love. You're not being intimate. You're not fulfilling his desires and he's for darn sure not fulfilling yours. So what he pays the bills, it's not enough. And it ain't enough for you to be running around nagging him all the time. See, we don't talk about the women and how you all contribute. Some of y'all, I look at you and I'm like, I wouldn't even want to sleep with you. 
But you expect your husband just to take you as you are because you're comfortable, but you're too comfortable. You're too comfortable. And how do I know? Because I see it. And you know, <laughs> I just want my young women out here to understand that these men don't want to be miserable. They want a fair deal in a relationship and in a marriage. There are times maybe in your relationship where you may feel like, hey, am I, am I giving too much affection? Am I giving too much of something? Pay attention to his actions. Pay attention to what he does for you. Don't overshare with girlfriends. You know, women can be very jealous and jealous hearted. What I'm noticing, you know, I've been in relationships most of my life or just very single. I'm not a type of person that has a whole lot of friends and things like that. But what I am noticing in relationships mainly is my person, my spouse was my spouse. Like my relationship, he is, you know, we do a lot of things together, but he's not my like main confidant. Like I don't over talk. I don't overshare. I have a therapist. You know, I do have a, a girlfriend I've had for gosh, about 30 years. I do have, you know, some friendships where we'll go out and drink some wine here and there. And we'll just talk about girl things, fashion, fun, travel. Men don't really want to hear all that. There's times we sit in the room and we don't say nothing. He don't want to talk about nothing because he ain't concerned about nothing. And I've learned to just be still, be calm. He's not your best friend. That's not what he's there for. Okay? So my young women, pay attention. Unlearn these things. Get around women that speak amazing about men that are fit and beautiful, that are confident, and that can help you get and attract the love that you desire and deserve so leave me a comment below if you're not my patreon society join my patreon i think i'll probably do another quick video because these are soaking what to do with my oxtails i actually follow island vibe cooking um i love cooking and i like cooking new things too but hey you know what somebody else <laughs> has some some recipes don't be afraid to use their recipes and add in things of your own so island vibe is awesome all right i'll see you on the next video oh who's gonna be the spark to ignite the conversation Leave me a comment below and let me know, especially if you're a young woman, do you have someone around you helping direct you? Because you can learn a, you can learn things from Kevin, but femininity and the essence of being a woman and being alluring and flirtatious and just being a soft, kind, submissive, cooperative woman comes from another woman. So let me know who's helping you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.